Some units of the Russian army have started receiving the first modernized Ka-52M attack helicopters, as can be seen by the photos published by Russian military bloggers which may have been taken in the Ukrainian war zone, meaning that the new rotorcraft might have already joined the war in Ukraine. Even if the new helicopter was shown off only for display, the potential threat it poses to the Ukrainian armed forces should not be underestimated. That is why Defense Express analyzed the capabilities of this combat rotorcraft, with reference to Pyotr Butowski and his article for The Drive in which he highlighted this episode. The author says, formerly the contract for the modernization of Ka-52 helicopters labeled as Avangard, 4 was issued in April 2019. However, by that time most of the equipment and weapons for the Ka-52M had been almost ready. Reforging the first two Ka-52 helicopters into their new version started in June 2020, and the complete Ka-52 52M took off for the first time on August 10 same year. But there is inconsistency in Butowski's statements, first, he claims the Ka-52M should have been ready for mass production by September 2022, then based on Russian Defense Minister Shugu's words assumes there might be up to 30 modernized helicopters delivered to the army by now. The first public appearance of the Ka-52M was at the Russian MAKS 2021 air show which revealed the main features of the modernization. The LMUR guided missile was added to the new helicopter's arsenal and some key systems were replaced with upgraded ones, including the GOES for 51M Electro Optical Targeting System SUO, 806PM Fire Control System, and the BKS 50M Communication Suite. Besides all that, the Ka 52M received blades with an improved engine preheater, more durable landing gear, external LEDs illumination, and allegedly improved ergonomics inside the pilot's cockpit although the author does not specify whether the issue with the emergency catapult had been resolved. As a reminder, the Ka-52 uses a unique crew ejection system that only releases pilots after the rotor blades and windshields are ejected. At the same time, the in-flight performance of the Ka-52M is basically the same as the original. Speed 200 km per hour, 124 miles per hour, combat radius 400 km, tilde 250 miles. Diving deeper into the specifics of upgraded avionics, for example, the modernized GOES, for 51M targeting system that features thermal and television cameras, a 2-in-1 laser rangefinder and target designator, as well as the laser spot tracker used for launching Vika-guided missiles. The Russians claim the GOES, for 51M can detect a target within a 12 km range with the TV camera or 15 km with the thermal imager. But how effective it will be if Ka-52C's agricultural combines as enemy tanks, is yet an open question. That aside, the Ka-52M also received a new electronic warfare and missile countermeasure system. Now the L-418 monoblock is installed on this aircraft, earlier this self-defense suite was featured in Ka-52E helicopters they sold to Egypt. The designers of the Ka-52M also decided to add another radar station to this helicopter, the B-006 Resets made by St. Petersburg-based Zaslan company, also made the B-004 radar for the Su-34 bomber. Interestingly, the B-006 Resets is air-cooled. According to the Russians themselves, this radar is able to see a tank class target from about 30 kilometers away, or a fighter aircraft class target from approximately 40 kilometers.